Good morning, Ampat. We have been hiatus, but we are glad to be back. We have a story on the basketball team, the boys' soccer team, who won regionals last night. Congratulations. Also, we have, a weather, we have weather with Tony, student council announcements, and of course, the earthquake in Haiti. That said, let's get amplified. Now with the announcements. On Mondays and Tuesdays, stop by the library to get help with math or English tutor. Wait, to get help with math or English. Tutors will be available from 3.15 to 4.30. Computers will be available for academic use. Academic decathlon. There is a mandatory meeting today after 7th period in room 307. All decathletes must attend. Spanish Club and Me Mecha are meeting every Friday after 7th period in room 104. Come join us. Everyone is welcome. NHS members, be working to complete your service hours. If you're interested in running for, the, in running for an office for the 2010-2011 school year, please notify Ms. Zamora or Ms. Van Syce. Thank you. French Club meets on Fridays in room 103 from 310 to 4. There is a lot going on right now. We hope to see you there. El Rio Health Clinic will be hosting the National Give Kids a Smile Day on February 5th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the 839 West Congress Clinic. Free evaluations, fluoride, and teeth brushing education will be provided to all children. In addition, kids will receive a goodie bag filled with toothpaste, floss, and toothbrushes. Speaking of big smiles, our basketball team is making a smile a lot lately. Here are some highlights from recent games. Students, come one and all to room H5B and purchase your limited edition Fashion Club t-shirts and help support the, fre the Fashion Club. Each shirt is only $12. And by students and staff, do you have a favorite pair of jeans or shirt that needs some repair? Or a pair of jeans that you would like to make into skinny jeans? Then bring them to La Vogue Alterations in Fashion Room H5B. For a minimum charge, we will make your item new again. The admissions representative from the University of Arizona will be here tomorrow, Thursday the 28th, at 10 a.m. in the library classroom. B waivers for the SAT and ACT are in. Please see your counselor if you qualify for free or reduced lunch and are interested in signing up for one of these treats. 
The FAFSA worksheets are in the counseling office. Don't forget to submit your applications online by February 14th. The French Club will start selling velograms in the breezeway during all lunches from February 8th to February 11th and in room 103. They are $3 each and the, the benefits will go to the children from Senge, Africa. Remember, French is a romantic language and you've got to get a French Club velogram for your chérie. Bowling Club. The yearbook picture will be taken on Tuesday, February 2nd at 3.15 in room 408. College Goal Sunday is this weekend. Seniors that need help with their FAFSA can attend a workshop at the ITT on Saturday. On Sunday, you can go to the U of A or Pima. Please see your counselor for more information. Any girls interested in going out for softball? Conditioning is Monday and Wednesday from 4 to 5.30. And tryouts will begin in one week. See the athletic office if you have any questions or concerns. You need to be cleared as soon as possible. All spring sports, track, softball, baseball, and tennis begin on Monday, February 8th. If you would like to go out for one of these sports, see the athletic office for a packet and get your physicals. We have an important story about Amphi relief. So we have an important story about Amphi's relief efforts at, for Haiti. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Mr. Steiner and uh, Mrs. Corrigan and the student council and I and my first period class have decided to, as you probably know, already know, to get the donations going for Haiti First, that we're calling it, and to raise money for the Haitian earthquake. The reason that we should do this is obvious. There are fellow human beings in Haiti who are suffering terribly. Haiti was already one of the poorest, if not the poorest, nation in the Western Hemisphere. Eighty percent of its people lived below the poverty line, in poverty, before this earthquake even struck. As I told one of my classes, this earthquake has knocked Haiti back before the Stone Age, and these people really need our help. They don't have the basics that we take for granted, like running water, electricity, uh, clothing, food to eat, and they, they really need our help. Um, so far, from what I understand from student council, uh, we've raised over $200, so Amphi, you're doing great. Please keep up the good work. We're going to continue this fundraiser through the week of February 12th. That's a Friday. So when you see the jars and the bottles that say Haiti first in your first period class, if you would please flip in whatever you can, that would be great. And thanks a lot, Amphi, and you really show your care. How are you helping out Haiti? Uh, we decided to just do it really simple and do a coin drive. The student council has always been very successful with their coin drives. Uh, we raised over $1,100 for AMFI students and thought this would be a great way to help out Haiti. So each class um, has some sort of container that says Haiti first. So um, if you could make a donation to the, um, the little bottles, we'll get the money to the Red Cross. Why are you helping out Haiti? Uh, Haiti is um, one of the poorest countries in the Western Hemisphere, if not the poorest, and they're in great need of, of help right now, especially um, those people in Port-au-Prince, and um, if AMFI can help out in any way, um, we could just do our part. Where can we donate the money? Uh, again, in your first period classes would be best, but anywhere you see a little collection um, bottle, um, if you have some extra change or a couple of bills, uh, we'll get the money to the Red Cross. Okay, thank you. So look around in your room for that milk jug and give whatever you can. Any students interested in track and field, there will be a meeting at 3.15 p.m. on Tuesday, February 2nd in Panther Hall for the super awesome sport of track and field. Everyone interested in playing baseball for the Panthers this spring, on February 1st at 3.30 in room G2, there will be an informational meeting about the upcoming season. This meeting is mandatory. Please see Coach Allen in G2 if you will not be able to attend for any reason. Boys volleyball will be starting in February. Make sure to get your physicals and information packets to the athletic office by February 12th. There will be an informational meeting in room 105 on Monday, February 8th at 3.15 p.m. <laughs> See Coach Fetcher if you have any questions. 
Attention all students. If you drive to school and park in the student parking lot, you need to have a parking permit or sticker. If you don't, you have exactly one and a half weeks left till February 5th to get one. They are $10 and you can buy it at the bookstore. Should you decide not to, a boot may be placed on your car. See Mr. Soto if you have any questions. Now we have weather. Hey Tony, how is it going to rain tonight? Hey, it's time to tell the weather back. I'm here with my man, Dark Vader. I know y'all miss me, but I'm back. It's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow, actually. And the rest of the week will be in the low 60s. It's time to tell the weather man. Here with my main man, Vader, and we're out. Peace. Lastly, I wanted to, take, I wanted to talk a little about prom and other student council announcements. Spirit Week next week. Monday, Sports Day. Tuesday, Rockstar, Wednesday, Hawaiian Day, Thursday, Superhero Day, Friday, Grease, like the movie from 1950s. Your class colors for Friday will be freshmen, red and gray, sophomores, pink and blue, juniors, green and silver, seniors, purple, black, and white. Valentine Fundraiser. Valentine Fundraiser. We will be selling Valentine grams in the breezeway February 8th to February 12th. No Hawaiian stuff? Buy Lay's in the breezeway February 1st to February 2nd. Finally, buy, buy prom tickets now. Prices will increase monthly. Singles are $20 and couples are $35. Brain game. Last week's riddles. What, go what grows down as it grows up? A goose. This week's riddle. What is so fragile, even saying its name will break it. Winners of Brain Games 1 will be announced next week. Thank you to the 42 students that turned in the paper. Thanks for watching. See you next week.